Okay, guys. So now that we have the network working, hopefully, um, now we can actually stand up our server. So right now we're set up, every time we reboot the Pi, it should bring this up. It has a static IP on our network, life is good. So we need to actually give it, we need to install a server and have it start serving. So the server we're going to use is um, called Apache. It's probably, or it is the most popular web server on the internet. So, you know, if you go to a public website, there's a good chance it's being served by Apache. Um, there's a couple other web servers out there that are similar to this. Uh, the kind of hot, new, and sexy one in Linux is called Nginx, and a lot of sites that are using it because it's it's newer, it's much lighter weight, it doesn't do as much of as Apache, but it takes a much fewer res far fewer resources, so it's more efficient. But Apache's tried and true, and it's probably the de facto standard, and it's what everyone uses. Microsoft has a web server called IIS that nobody in their right mind uses, but you know it is out there, you do encounter it every now and then. If someone ever tries to hire you to set up their 10,000 people every hour website and they want you to use IIS, don't take the job, um, just walk away. But uh, pretty much every real heavy duty website here. on the internet's using either Apache or Nginx right now. What did you say? Is this the voice of experience here? Yeah, well, maybe. Right? <laughs> um, I'm also no Microsoft fanboy, right? So take it with a grain of salt. If you work for Microsoft, I apologize. The company doesn't build crappy software. Um, <laughs> so let's deal with the installation. So by default, Apache isn't installed in the Raspberry Pi. There's some good reasons for that. As soon as you install Apache, it actually starts serving. So you don't just want it on there by default, or it's going to be randomly serving things that you don't intend. So we need to actually run the install command. Being connected to the internet is going to be a prerequisite to this, because we're going to use the app, uh, we're going to use apt-git, which goes to the internet, downloads the program, and installs it for us. Um, so if we run the command, sudo apt-git, and before you do an install, it's always good to update the list of software it has access to. So if you start with a sudo apt-get update, assuming your internet's working, it should bounce through a list of files it's downloading to update all of its... Uh, so this just updates the list of software that it can install. <laughs> so as soon as this is done, then we can actually run the install. Oh man, I hope it doesn't actually take three minutes. It wasn't taking that long earlier. I bet you it'll speed up as soon as this file's done. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. I guess we're waiting a few minutes. <laughs> Normally it's a lot faster than this. Yeah, mine's going faster than that. Yeah, well, it just doesn't like me. I guess I could try mine again. Well, everyone's going through you, right? Yeah, but that's not. Trust me, the bottleneck is. This is not limiting me to modem speed, right? So, it's the bottleneck is elsewhere. But this will be done in Charlie. Part of the reason it's probably slow is because the guys that run this, well, this is from the Raspberry Pi website, but the guys that actually maintain Raspbian and host a lot of these packages are like two guys running a server out of their basement. So when everyone in the world decided to use the Raspberry Pi, they got a little bit overwhelmed, and things weren't always the fastest. Five seconds. <laughs> All right. So when this is done running, if your guys is finished already, the next command you want to run, and you might as well get started because it could take a minute too, is sudo apt-git space install space apache2 is the name of the package to install apache. So um, as soon as you're done through this list of packages, a command prompt, if you run sudo apt-git install apache2, you'll be good to go. This is why no one does live demos in real life. Is anyone installing it yet, or are you all just waiting for one to download? Can you say the uh, the command again to uh, install Apache? Sudo space app dash git space install space Apache two A P A C H E two all one word all lowercase. Now this is just the Raspberry Pi being slow. I'm not even downloading anymore. Andy, what's the difference between apt-get and aptitude? So aptitude is a higher level wrapper around apt-get. It's actually deprecated in like newer versions of Ubuntu, so it's going away. But apt-get is the low level tool that lives behind aptitude. Um, that's the short answer. Okay, so now I can do sudo apt-get install 
Apache 2. It's going to give me a list of software here. That is, so when you use apt-git, it's intelligent. Not only will it install Apache 2, but it will figure out all of the dependencies it needs and installs them. It's just asking me for a confirmation. It's saying, I'm going to install what you asked for, and I'm also going to install all of these extra packages. I just need to tell you <coughs> yes, and then it'll get going. And I hope the install servers aren't just really slow tonight, because that would be painful. Is everyone progressing through this nicely? So you're still broken? Uh, well, it's, there's no error anymore. Yeah. Can you ping me? Can you ping um, 192.168.0.33? Or 0 0.1, either one of those? Okay, look in your, can you ping 8.8.8.8? .8 .8 .8? Make sure your gateway is type in route. Does it have that 192.168.0.1 space 0.0.0.0 line? No. Okay. Your gateway must be so go back to your config file and make sure that you have the gateway setting set correctly. Okay. Other people get through the install process, are they back to a prompt? Cool. So Apache 2 is now installed and running. Um, Word to the wise, we're currently sitting in a fairly noobish state right now. We've installed Apache 2. It's hosting its default website, which is anything but sexy. And it's, well, so Word is connected to the local network, which isn't a big deal. But if we were connected to the internet, uh, we've essentially just sent up a flare saying, we've stood up a public server. We have no idea what we're doing, so you should come and hack me. Um, so don't just install Apache unless you're ready, about ready to go through the next set of steps that we're going to do. If you like installed it and left it like this, it's like a total noob mistake. Um, so you could actually test it now, and this is where if someone has a laptop connected to our local network, this is where it's going to come in handy. You can do it from your Raspberry Pi, but it's a little bit less cool. If you actually pull up a web browser and you go to the IP address for you, whatever Pi I assigned you, 168.0.33, you should get the nice default Apache website that is simply informing you of the fact that Apache has installed correctly and is now running. So, um, I went to mine, you can go to yours. If people don't have laptops, I can go to yours as well. Just tell me what IP address you want me to test, and we can confirm that it's working. So we keep 108. We're good. Anyone else? 109. 33 is the key. Cool. I guess we're good as well. 112? Oh, yeah. Okay. Something's wrong there. You sure it's 112? Yeah, I gave you 112. Um, and Apache installed correctly? Looks like it. Uh, Dude, you're one do you... <laughs> Here. Run um, sudo service. Oh, yeah. We'll just set this to Run this command, sudo service apache2 status, and see if it says whether or not it's running. Yep. It says it is running? Well, I, I'm also... I think we're in one Oh. Well, maybe that's why yours isn't working. I thought that was Sorry. <laughs> so, is someone using 113? Yeah, that's me, I think. No. Just well, you, you okay. just switch to like 150. Or just, yeah, go to like 120 and you'll be fine because no one's up there. And you stay on 112 and that'll probably fix both of these issues.